Perry and Almeida. Set the pace with Perry. Don Perry, that is. And Dane Saratelli in tow. Kevin Boucher Jr. gives him the green flag. We are underway, and Ed Perry rolls out by half a car length. On Tyler Almeida, those two separate themselves from the field. Don Perry sits comfortably in third, and it turns three and four they go. Eddie Perry sets the pace into four. Perry's been struggling with that one lately, trying to get that back on track as he leads lap number one over the 97 of Almeida. The 69 of Don Perry squeezes in down to the inside of Almeida, down the back straightaway, and look at the 57. Down the inside contact, the 97 gets sideways, able to get on it back in, but the caution flag is out. Slowed up on lap number one for the sportsman division. As the 97 of Tyler Almeida got sideways through the corner. That was one of those safety cautions where, yes, albeit Almeida was able to gather it back in, that could have been a lot worse than it was. So you throw the caution just to be safe, and we get restarted. Perry and Perry looking for the green off a corner, up on the throttle. There's a green flag. We're underway, and Ed gets the jump down into turn number one. Here comes Don Perry up on the outside as they battle down into turn number three. Into three and four they go, and Don Perry had to back off the throttle. Linehan making his three wide for the lead, and it turns one and two. Don slid up the racetrack. Linham back off the throttle. The Perrys are side by side for the lead. Ryan Linham settles back into the third spot. Here comes Petty up on the outside as they come off the corner. Don Perry. Edges out to the lead as they head down into turn number one. Eddie Perry on the inside trying to battle it back. Adam Petty up top. You think that's confusing? Try calling the names off before they come. Perry, Perry, Petty, and Lineham. It's one and two they go. Eddie and Donnie still side by side for the lead with Lineham. Petty. And Baxter, your top five with three, running out the first three rows. And a four they go. The Perry's still even. Don Perry got a little loose off the floor, gathers it back in, and it turns one and two. Just as Adam Petty was taking a look to go three wide, look at him split the middle down the back, straightaway trying to squeeze in. They hit three. Perry gets a little bit loose, slides up the racetrack, running down to the inside, three wide off the corner. Lineham touching the one of Ed Perry. Double wide for the lead. Petty trying to split the difference. Pushes Lineham to the lead. He's double wide. Here comes Free. Three wide for second. Free backs off the throttle. Lineham takes the lead at the stripe. Down into turn number one. It is Lineham setting the pace. Petty is second. Perry is third. Perry and Free battle side by side for fourth. Adam Petty dives out of the inside of Ryan Lineham. Looks for the top spot. They cross the stripe. The 57 sees his number at the top of the leaderboard for the first time at lap number eight. Down the back straightaway they go. Lineham and Petty still side by side for the lead with Eddie Perry and Free rounding out the top four. Off a four day Tom Petty sets the pace deeper in the field. Don Perry and Chad Baxter battle for that seventh spot. Steve Axon sits fifth on the grid, putting a lot of pressure on that black and purple number four as they head down into the corner, trying to find himself up towards the podium. Free takes a peek down to the inside. Perry shuts the door one more time as they hit turns one and two. Field run nose to tail from third to ninth down the back straight away. Here comes Casper taking a peek to the inside. Axon slides up the racetrack. Baxter gets down underneath. He's got the spot down into one. But he still sets the pace into the back straightaway with Free trying to get a run up on Eddie Perry in the three and four. Free tries the outside, wheel to wheel with the number one across the stripe. Down into the first corner. Right now the battle is for third and it is a dog fight. Off of the corner. Up on the outside is the four. Looking for the advantage. Kyle Casper trying to make it three wide tennis back in. They hit the corners. Axon has got the momentum up on the outside. Following the number four as they hit turn number one. It is Petty and Lineham in a breakaway. Down the back straight away. Here comes Billy Free up to third. Axon following him through looking for fourth. Perry and Axon. Casper now trying to make a three wide for a fourth. If he has the room, he doesn't slide back behind the one. 
Baxter and Casper battle for the fifth spot with Adam Petty still setting the pace off of turn number four. Off the quarter they come, Steve Haxon takes the advantage of the outside lane, edges out ahead of Eddie Perry for four. The zero of Baxter trying to follow through. Casper Till trying to squeeze down. Gets a run down low. Runs out of room. Settles it in back behind out of the corner. Meanwhile, Axon down underneath three. Down into turn number one for third. Off of one they come in. Axon in three. Still side by side for third with Baxter rounding out the top five. Casper in it as well. Along with the one of Eddie Perry. That's the battle for sixth. Field stringing itself out. Still some great battles throughout the field. Deep in the pack, you got the 95 of Healy, the 18 of Marku, the 9 of Saratelli, and the Beaver in the 9 in the 27 battling for position. Chad Baxter has worked himself up to fourth as Bianca starts the backslide. Billy Free gets caught up on the outside as they roll off of turn number four. 19 laps up on the board for Adam Petty. Lyman is second. Axum is third, Baxter fourth, Casper up inside the top five. A little deeper in the field, we have three wide for seven. Smoke coming out of the 12 of Benoit as he battles with Pepe in Almeida deep in the field. Almeida trying to work himself back up to the pack, started on the outside pull. Sideways down the front straightaway. Slides down in front of Colby Lambert. They make a little bit of contact as they hit through the corner as Perry trying to hang out of that number 69. Field stretching itself out around the third mile as Petty and Lynham continue their breakaway, as does Axon and Chad Baxter. The battle right now heating up for that fourth spot between Pianca and Eddie Perry off the turn number four. Give it to Pianca at the stripe by half. Sixth place, that's the battle there. Meanwhile, your leader rolls off of turn number four. Two laps to go. Adam Petty in control. He's been close so many times. Keep your eyes on the battle for third. The 0-4 of Steve Axon, the 0 of Chad Baxter. They run nose to tail. Baxter takes a peek down to the inside. They roll down into three, wheel to wheel. There's a white flag. Petty in control. Axon edging out. Baxter that time at the stripe as they hit one and two. And here comes Adam Petty, leading it off of four. He'll take down the win, his first of the year. Second place to Ryan Lyon. Battles out of the stripe for third. Give it to Steve Axon with Baxter fourth. Kyle Casper fifth. Ed Perry. Kobe Lambert. Mike Mitchell sixth. Seventh going to Kobe Lambert. Eighth going to Mike Mitchell with Craig Piaka and Tyler Almeida rounding out the top five. Jumped out front, never looked back. How about a round of applause for your sportsman feature winner, Adam Petty. And it worked absolutely perfectly for Adam Petty. Lightham got out front, but couldn't hold off. The blue and yellow, number 57, and Steve Axon battled his way through the field and held on for third. What a race. The Sportsman Division held your South Coast Power Equipment Sportsman Division once again putting on a show as he gets ready to climb out of the car. How about a round of applause? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's held your South Coast Power Equipment Sportsman feature winner, Adam Petty. Adam, congratulations. This car has been fast all year long. You and I have talked about it. It's just been that little bit you were missing. Tonight, this thing was money. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had the same setup for like five weeks now. And you know, this morning we were not unbolting it, and I said, you know what? I'm going to put springs in it. I'm changing it. Even though we're fast, I'm changing it. And uh, I guess we made the right decision because it worked. You got out front, you, you and Ryan had a good battle at the front of the field, but once you got out front, you took off. Did you know how big of a lead did you have? I kept looking. I knew once I didn't see him, we were doing all right. Um, definitely got a little, uh, a little rough there for a little bit, three wide, but we made it happen and uh, got it done. It's got to feel real good to get this one in. Yeah, all those podium finishes and, and not getting a win, you know, it's, it's great to be here. I know you got some people to thank. Yeah, my crew is huge. I mean, I can't even list everyone off. There's my Uncle Dean, my dad, both Mikes, uh, Chris, 
Jerry, I mean, there's just so many people that come out and help. I mean, my own company, Petty Auto Salvage, and Brian Hill Farms, I mean, we're the ones funding this, and, um, you know, it all helps. Congratulations. Welcome to Victory Lane. How about a round of applause? Adam Petty picking up his first win of the season.